Tonight, local lawmakers and school districts are reacting to what Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds calls the student's first act. Iowa is one of only a handful of states that offers this school voucher program. This new law gives every student in Iowa about $7,500 to spend on private school education. ABC 6 News reporter Emily Popal spoke with the Mason City School Superintendent about how this may impact their district. She's live in the newsroom tonight with what she found out. Emily? James Roar, the superintendent, says he's disappointed and concerned for the public school system. He says he thinks the bill will siphon money away from his district. Advocates for the bill, though, say that simply funneling money into the public school system isn't going to improve education. For the first time, we're funding students instead of a system. Governor Kim Reynolds celebrating alongside Iowa Republicans this week as her student's first act is signed into law. We're rejecting the idea that the answer to improving education is simply pumping more money into the same system year after year without making significant changes. But the new law is the last thing that Mason City Schools Superintendent Pat Hamilton wants for his students. This bill is, is not transparent and open. Um, the, the rules are, I guess, not the same for uh, private schools as they are for public schools when it comes to that. In Iowa, public schools get around $7,500 per student from the state. Under this new law, a student can choose to take that $7,500 and spend it on private school instead what will be left for public education. Public school districts will receive just over $1,200 per student living within their district boundaries, regardless of if they choose public or private schools. Something Republican lawmakers say will help offset any funding decreases districts see from declining enrollment. I have faith in our public schools. I don't believe that when we pass this bill tonight that we're going to see a mass exodus. It's not, it's not an even playing field at all. The bill is being sold as parent choice. It is absolutely not parent choice. Democrats say no matter what, this law still leaves out students in rural Iowa who don't have access to private schools at all. According to a new nonpartisan report put together by the Legislative Services Agency, by the year 2026, this bill will have cost the state around $880 million. The first phase of this program rolls out next year. James. Yeah, interesting. Emily, are there any income restrictions with all of this? Yeah, James, in the first two years of the program starting in 2024, there will be an income cap to focus on low and middle income students. By the third year, though, it will be open to all students regardless of income. James.